In this video, we're going to take a look at creating an extruded draft part using the thin feature option. Let's start by creating a new part using our mold part template. I'm going to create a new sketch on the top plane, and we're going to draw a center point rectangle and give this some dimensions. I like to use my S key and use my smart dimensions option. Now remember our template's set up to use a three millimeter wall thickness, which we can alter, but let's start by giving this a 50 millimeter width and a 25 millimeter height. Now that we've created that sketch, let's do an extruded boss base feature. Now 10 millimeters is gonna be fine for us. And in order to add draft to this part, we can turn draft on by selecting this button. Now remember our template has a draft value. So in order to use that, we're gonna hit the equal key use our global variable, draft, and then select okay. So now we've linked the draft of this part to that global variable that we created in our template. We can modify that template value at any point in time and modify this part without having to edit this feature. Now we have our draft, it's going to be drafting inward. We can also change that by selecting this button to draft outward. In our case, drafting outward would mean the outside of this part would actually get pulled from the bottom direction in our mold. We draft inward where you can see all the walls from the top view this part could get pulled from our top view we're going to take a look at the thin feature option in this case by selecting thin feature you'll note that what we've done now is we've created a thin feature that is using a thickness value for the wall now in this case we're going to hit equals use our global variable wall thickness so now we've created a thin feature that has draft on both the inside and the outside wall. Using the thin feature option can come in handy in certain cases, but in most cases, you're not gonna want the inside and outside wall of your housing to be drafting in a convergent manner. And what I mean by that is if we take this thickness out to say 50 millimeters, you'll note that the wall is actually ending in a severe edge. It's actually creating a knife point. Now this is not ideal because we need to have a consistent wall thickness. So if we take this back down to 10 millimeters and we change the draft and we go outward, you'll notice that the inside wall and the outside wall are still converging in the opposite direction. Now if we look at this from the top view or the bottom view, you'll notice that the walls can actually be pulled from the same direction. Now as I mentioned, this can be a benefit if you need to pull the inside and the outside from the same direction this is gonna be ideal for you. But in most cases, you're gonna want these walls parallel. There is also a cap ends option in the thin feature. Now this is not typically used for this type of part. And the reason for that is because it actually creates a completely enclosed cavity. Now you don't have the option to only cap one end or the other when you're using thin feature. It's going to cap both of them. So when you're dealing with a molded part, that's obviously not an ideal situation unless you are dealing with something that is say a blow molded part where you just have an external mold and you're actually using a gas to push the plastic out into it. In our case, we're not dealing with that. So we're just gonna deselect that cap ends option. We're gonna hit okay, take a look at what we've created. By creating a section view, you can take a look at the draft a little bit better. So you can see here now that if we were creating a mold of this part, both of these outside walls can be pulled from the same vertical direction. And that is where the benefit comes from. 